Okay, PC people. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to show you how to do this on a Mac because my PC screen record program um, stops the minute I start to install any program on it. So um, hopefully I can show you how to do this. So you're going to launch the, the installer program. It's the same idea. And you're going to select English. You're going to continue, continue. And then you're going to get to um, a place where it's going to tell you, it's going to look different on a PC, but it's going to tell you where um, the Plogue Sportsando software is going to be installed. Make note of where that's going to be installed on what drive. On mine, it was my C drive under um, Plogue um, Sportsando. So you want to make note of that because you're going to have to point Reaper into that direction. So I'm not going to do this, so I'm just going to quit the installer. Then once you've done that and you've installed it and you've made note, note of where it's, it's at, the directory where it's going to be installed, um, you're then going to launch Reaper. So, um, okay. I'm not going to, eh, it's wanting me to download a new version. I'm not going to. Okay, so then you're going to go to the preference file, which in um, PC is located, well, Mac 2 is located under the options pull down menu. Mac, you can also get at it um, under Reaper. So two different places. But PC folks, you're going to go to the options pull down menu. You're going to go to preferences. Then on the left hand side, you're going to go down to plugins, and you're going to look at VST. And then up here, you have um, a, a path window, and you're going to add a new path. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on Add, and then you're going to find where your folder is that you made note of, and you're going to go Open. I'm not going to do this because I don't I want to do it. So then you're going to go Open. Okay, then you're going to go down here and go Apply, which won't be grayed out. And then you're going to go OK. And then once you've done that, all right, I'm just canceling because I'm, I'm, I've already done this. Once you've done that, you're going to close out Reaper, and then you're going to reopen Reaper, and it's going to rescan your VST. Then what you want to do is go up to Track and go Insert Virtual Instrument on New Track, and go to uh, Instruments, and then your um, Plogue Real Sampler Sforzando will be right here. And there'll be two versions. You click on either one of them and then go OK. And it will open it up and then just watch the video that I made of how to use Fort Sondo. That should work for you. If it doesn't work for you, you can just use the Kakos um, uh, sampler. I, I like this one better. It's a little more intuitive. But that should work for you. 